that white uh, all over the ground is lime, uh, which we top dressed yesterday. And underneath the lime is about 30 tons of uh, horse manure that we spread out here yesterday. And so what we want to do is get over the top of this with a disc, uh, cover this whole field uh, so that we can turn that manure underneath. We've been composting this manure all winter long and we want to retain as much of this as possible. Hey everybody, Dave from Rolling Hills Farm here. Uh, coming to you from an unusual place, my living room, um, because it's a time of year we do planning uh, for the farm, uh, more planning than we do exterior work. You can see out the living room window, uh, the fields are covered in snow. What I'm working on inside is uh, evaluating our various fields, the soil tests for our various fields, and uh, trying to decide exactly what our strategy is for the coming year for tillage, uh, uh, both what we're going to plant this spring and then what will uh, work up in the fall. This is the soil test from one of the fields that we took grain off last year. You can see the organic matter at 5.6%, pretty high because it had been in hay for a number of years. But the soil pH at six is low, and that prompted us to spread lime on the field to bring up that soil pH. Also a recommendation for some pretty strong fertilizer, a balanced fertilizer, and we opted to use horse manure on this field uh, to provide the nutrients required. You can see I'm standing out here and we've cleared a spot in one of our hay fields. Actually, I snow blowed it first, and now I've come back up and touched it up with the tractor and loader uh, right down to the grass. And the reason I'm doing that is so that we can uh, receive lime deliveries uh, for this field. Um, this field is due to be limed, and uh, we get our lime from a company that delivers uh, from an industrial plant. All these piles are lime that will be spread on this field. And so what I have to do is, uh, once the snow melts, I'll come with my loader, tractor and loader, and I'll pile this up. Now you can see this was just delivered a couple hours ago, and it's already starting to freeze up. And it's gonna be really frozen solid in another hour or so. But once the snow melts, uh, I'll come out here and I'll push these piles up or push this lime up into piles. And then what happens is the groundwater or the rainwater seeps out of it and it gets really dry and fluffy. And then we're able to spread it in our manure spreader. Now this particular field, this particular field that we're looking at, uh, soil tested at 5.6. And you know, that pH is just too low. And we've noticed that, especially in the flat, 
over this way and down where you see that brush growing, um, it, it, the yield is terrible. Uh, it's been many years since this field has been um, replanted, although it gets uh, fertilizer spread on it. We spread fertilizer regularly. Uh, we've noticed that um, the plants growing here, um, uh, the hay is thinner, and the, there's a lot of odd weeds and brush growing up. So that's one of our reasons for uh, um, rehabbing this field uh, to keep our yields up. So uh, we'll, we take soil tests uh, frequently on our fields. Um, we, uh, we've got a rotation, about a nine year rotation, seven to nine years of rehabbing each of these hay fields. And um, uh, that means uh, for us, um, plowing, uh, and putting in a small grain nurse crop uh, so that we keep the soil covered uh, with a new uh, planting of some kind of hay underneath. Uh, typically on our fields we do a combination of Timothy and Allsight clover uh, because we around here um, that hay is really in demand. The soil tests uh, are for more than just uh, checking pH on the field. It gives you an idea of uh, um, how much you're short uh, other nutrients, phosphorus, potassium, nitrogen. And some years we've applied commercial fertilizer to uh, um, increase our, um, our yield on the, on the fields that have tested low. Uh, but typically we uh, rely on um, cow manure. Um, uh, or horse manure, depending. Uh, we've got, uh, um, we get manure, we stockpile manure at the home farm, uh, and um, we get a lot of loads out of our two cattle yards, both us and our neighbor who have uh, um, cattle. And then we work with a couple of different uh, uh, horse people who stockpile manure as well. We compost all of our manure, uh, which involves turning it usually after a rain we'll go in with the skid steer or a tractor and bucket and uh, pile up big windrows that will get turned several times each summer and then it composts down uh, physically uh, in a, a, a lighter a lot of the moisture uh, runs out and then that gets spread on the field but really it's important that before you start dumping a bunch of fertilizer on a field uh, uh, or manure, in our case, that you have the pH correct. And that's the reason uh, for this lime. And so this year, this spring, we'll lime uh, this field and probably three others in all. And we've already uh, soil tested and been approved for uh, two more uh, larger fields that will hopefully be delivered starting this late in the summer and uh, into next winter. Uh, and those fields will be a part of the same process. We'll deliver uh, um, and spread uh, uh, lime and keep the fields in shape. And so next up will be uh, oil change and filter changes to get this baby ready to go so that when it starts to melt, the very first thing will be get that lime on the field. Uh, of course, that's still a couple months away, but uh, um, well, we'll shoot some video when we do that too. Thanks for watching and we hope to see you before then.